start with your first. This project and this character hit close to home for you. How were you able to bring both your own experiences and your family's experiences to Nico? And is there a different weight slash responsibility when you're playing a character whose shared experiences reflect so many that are living in the U.S. today? Yeah, it was honestly pretty easy for me just because I've been through a lot of the experiences this character has been through. But also, I just wanted to reflect that mirror of truth back to like kids in L.A., kids around the world that are going through this. I want to reflect the true story about a mom and a son and the adversity they go through. There's a lot of love between Nico and Anna. And I just wanted to reflect that truthfully because especially being Latino in this industry, you don't really get to see a lot of heartfelt films in that relationship without any of the stereotypes. So I just, I want to know stereotypes. I want a truth. And I think, I believe we brought that. You definitely did. And, you know, Noah, Augie wrote and directed this film and you've written and directed in the past as well. Is the film experience different when the person who's created these characters and this narrative are also at the helm directing? How have your own experiences behind the camera impacted the way that you approach your work on screen and interpret characters like Peter and his very nuanced journey throughout the film? I don't know that I could compare my own trajectory to Augie's because my experience bore itself out differently i i'm i'm so impressed with him you know and mostly because when i started writing and directing i was very control oriented and um he was just the opposite he was so collaborative and so um intent on just creating a kind of atmosphere for creativity without being dogmatic about his words or about anything in particular the blocking it was it felt very free and it was a process that usually you get with a much more experienced director at the helm mm -hmm. so my compliment to him is how seasoned a professional he came off so early in his career um but yes it does make a difference when you have the author who has a single vision there and who's able to articulate it as well as augie is it, you get everybody to buy into something very very viscerally and um he was a terrific communicator it just makes it that much easier when you realize you're you're helping somebody create a passion you know, and realize a passion as opposed to just executing a job. Bringing a much needed uh, story to the forefront. And Ezekiel, well, you know, without giving out any spoilers, there's a really vulnerable moment between Nico and his mother towards the later half of the film, which you brought so much depth to. How did you create the space for yourself to dive into that scene in particular? What was it like collaborating with Vanessa to bring that mother-son dynamic to life? Ah, man, that's like my favorite scene in the entire movie. And uh, it's just... I think, I, at least I believe every, if you're lucky to have your mom with you, you still, you've had that conversation with your mom where, you know, mm -hmm. you've, you want to give your parents a better life or, you know, you're just apologizing, you're just coming together, you know, the, my mom's the apple of my eye and so is Nico's mom and every man wants to give their parents a better life and I just hope that reflected back to the kids that see this or the people that see this and are able to connect to that. I just wanted to bring truth to it. So, yeah. It's a standout moment in, in the film and one that I can relate to as well. You know, Noah, time is a never a luxury when you're working on a feature. And it's even rare that the cast has the opportunity to rehearse. What discoveries were made during that process? And how did that allow you to build trust with your fellow castmates as you tackle this really sensitive and timely subject matter? Sometimes when the script is written in with sparse dialogue, right? Almost Chekhovian silences. Uh, you have to fill in those blanks. You have to put in the life that isn't there on the page and it has to be very three-dimensional. So the rehearsal process involved a lot of improvisation and a lot of sort of working around the text and working in the situations that we were um, dealing with to try and get as honest about how we would react as people in those situations as possible. And out of those improvisations, a lot of really wonderful nuanced moments kind of came up that I think infused the film with a sense of weight and history to the relationships. You really believe that these people are married. You believe that this is a yeah. family struggling that has a lot of secrets and hasn't really been communicating very well, but is well-intentioned, but just uh, going through a really difficult time. And you see that mirrored in both of the storylines and you smash those together and you get two very different cultural experiences yeah. You know, meeting almost in a car crash and uh, everybody having to figure it out, which feels very contemporary, feels very necessary and comes through the wonderful Trojan horse of a kind of a cool thriller. So it doesn't feel polemic. It feels really entertaining at the same time. 
Yeah, it'll definitely keep audiences on the, the edge of their seats. And Z, this is your feature film debut as a lead. Congratulations. What was the most surprising part about this experience? What did you learn about your craft? Honestly, I'm just really blessed that I was able to do this. I was working at Amazon when I got this. And mm. when I let, Augie wrote me a letter and the, he offered me the part and God was right the entire time. I've been envisioning this for so long, though. I'm not surprised. I'm very grateful, though, but and really blessed. But I've always believed I was going to be a leading man in this industry and be one of the best to ever do it. So I'm just going to keep working hard, stay disciplined, and I'm going to be amongst the best, be able to learn from people like Noah, Augie, you know, Ed Harris, Shia LaBeouf, all these people that have been teaching me for so long now. I, I can't do it wrong. I'm just going to keep learning, keep my head down, and be one of the best. Yeah, this project is going to open so many doors for you. And Noah, you've worked on projects of all sizes. What is it about independent filmmaking that excites you as a creative and a storyteller? Well, oftentimes, that's where the most engaging and interesting stories are found these days. Um, it's very difficult to get financing for these types of movies. So that's why you don't see them very often. And when they mm. come across your, your desk and they're written as well as this, I look at them as golden opportunities to go and hit that gymnasium apply my trade, do that work you very rarely get to do in television or on bigger budget movies and uh, roll up my sleeves and try to stay relevant with the younger generation. <laughs> <laughs> irrelevant, irrelevant. <laughs>